Hello everyone, this is just um, kind of like a weathering tutorial for your model trains. Um, so I'm going to be weathering four cars, a um, Walther's Mainline Union Pacific reefer car. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. I think it's an Atlas, maybe? But um, Southern, not Southern Pacific, Santa Fe shock control box car, a Bachman flatbed with a transformer on it, and then a um, a farmer's cooperative car similar to this one. So we'll just get right into that. So I'll first start with the Union Pacific reefer car. And um, I have two or three main ways how I do stuff, like weathering wise. Um, so just like brushing stuff on and um, kind of dabbing at it and then just kind of a mix between the two. Here is a brushing, when you brush one on, kind of get this look to it. Um, kind of see that it's faded and then some rust. Same thing on the other side. Um, and this is just using chalks, um, like sidewalk chalk, honestly. That's what my my white and my brown is, just sidewalk chalk. And then this is kind of just dabbing at it. And it gets kind of a dustier effect to it. But it stays on. So yeah, this is, this is Monroe Models chalk, the rust. And then, um, soot black. I don't use the black and rust as much as the white and brown. Just because the white and brown are good, um, fading colors. So, um, I have two paint brushes here. One with all of its bristles still kind of normal. And the other one with its bristles mainly cut off. This is good for, like rubbing something on this is good for brushing or doing the little dabbing technique so um you don't really want to i i would say and i'm definitely not a master at this it's just like custom stuff that i try so um i'm not going to use white on it just because they'll obviously blend in really well so i'm going to use the brown and Take it, and then just, um, you don't want to kind of lean that up. And you want something underneath, because it gets kind of messy. And as you can see, there's a lot of excess stuff from other cars that I've done. So, um, you can just repurpose that. I haven't repurposed anything lately, but this is a lot of just mainly brown and white. And so I'm going to, I'll reuse it. So... Not sure how well the camera can kind of pick that up, but um, you can kind of see um, that there is some, it just looks a little dirty. And yeah. And just going like this. And you want to kind of get it everywhere. And you can do trucks and wheels separately. Usually I tend not to do them, which I should. But, um, like, when you knock stuff down from up top, it kind of gets on it and you can brush it in. So just lightly rubbing on it. And then um, you usually want it to go down the car. You can go like this, just kind of move it around. But you want to go down. Just because most stuff would obviously run down the car. And see, this really tones it down from what it was. Um, like that. Looks much better now. And see, um, you can just blow on it and knock the stuff off. And yeah, you can tell it's a little dirtier. And so, you can always do multiple coats, but... Um, if you ever have one of these cars, I would suggest um, putting some graffiti on it, which I am ordering graffiti decals. Just because it seems like um, 
reefer card. This is not like the high key one, but it's supposed to represent it. Um, but they get a lot of tagging because they just sit at warehouses. Um, just open. So taggers or anybody can just come along and spray them up. And yeah, you can even reuse some stuff that's collected on the bottom. Just to give some variation in color. I might go back and do this on the other side too. So yeah, I'm just going to keep touching this up and I'll get back when I start doing another color. Um, You also want to remember the sides. Like, it's not that... It's not as seen as often as the others, but you always just want to do it in case it's on the end of a train or just sitting by itself. So, yeah. And when blowing on it, it just knocks off the excess. So, it's a good way to just knock it off. I don't know really how else I could phrase that. And then, again, you don't want to forget the roof. And um, this roof really kind of gets the texture in. And also, if you do something on the side, like I will do in a second, um, like another color, depends on what it is. But like rust, you'll want to um, carry from like the middle of the roof and down. Just, like, that's just how you want to do it. It makes it look really nice. And, um, yeah, like I said, um, you can just crush up some sidewalk chalk in a bag, and that's what I have been using for my, um, my brown and white, and they stick really nicely. So, um, this is a refrigerated car, a reefer car. And so, um, they have the refrigerators and all the, um, like gas powered, um, fridge on them, obviously. And so, um, you can put some black on the side. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my words. So, um, you just want to use a, just a really light dab of black. Because a lot of black gets you long, or a little bit of black gets you a long ways. And if you mess up with the black, like, you can always wash it off. But, um, you just don't want to go too intense. So, um, yeah, there's this, um, refrigerator grill sort of thing right here. Yeah, you just want to kind of do that. And then you can come in with the um, the softer brush and just knock away some extra stuff. And then again, just, just a tad bit. And see, the ladder goes over it, and so, I guess you can do the ladder up, too. And then, knock the excess away. Yeah, see, like, you got in this, this panel. And then, just kind of blow it off. And that looks really nice. It looks like a mechanical fridge. Um, nothing on this side. I think that's actually the only grills there. So, um, yeah. There's the first car complete. Turns out pretty nice. So, yeah, I will eventually get some graffiti on that guy. So, yeah. So, next, I'm going to do this um, Agents in the Peak on Santa Fe um, car. And you're going to, if you do decals, you'll probably want to do them ahead of time. But um, you can always just go back over with your chalks. So um, 
I probably won't do these right now, but um, I got some car track decals that go on the sides of older cars, and um, I'll eventually put those on, on something. So, and you can use, the white would be good on more of a poppier color, like, like red. And just spread it all over, and then go down. And there, if you really want it to look fading, you kind of got to do multiple coats, which maybe I'll do with this guy, just to show that. Um, but yeah, the white just kind of makes it look a little, a little faded. So you can kind of see it and here, you know what, we'll actually do the dabbing thing on this one. So if you just go like this. Get some more. Do this side of the door. This is actually where you spill most of your stuff. And then I'm gonna do the door. That might have been a little much, but it'll look nice. You can kind of see it. Most of it actually came off, so. But you can kind of see it on the door. Um, now I'll do this other side. So yeah, I went ahead and did everything, um, including the sides and the roof. And now I'll do some rust. And on a car where the rust would kind of blend in, um, a, or just look kind of bland. You can always do it over the logo of the car or anything big on it. So, uh, you'll, I'm going to, I usually use the, um, oops, sorry, the cutoff one and see just, you always want to go from the top down. You don't want to go crazy with it unless you're making a really rusted car, which I did before. And I didn't really like its appearance. And see, this is the type of thing that I would go onto the roof with. It's just kind of like that. And you should technically remove this, the um, the walkways. But I think they look cool. So if you're modern, uh, a modern one, modern railroad, in which I am, but I just kind of like it. There you go. That looks pretty nice. You can see it coming down from the roof. Um. So yeah, I'll do this to the other side. All right, now for our last car, or second to last, whatever I end up doing, because the other one's not actually shipped yet. That's all right. So, uh, this one I'm kind of going to go all out on. This is a brand new Bachman car I just bought. Um, for 20 bucks. Good price for um, a train car. So, um, this, um, it's a depressed centered flat car, six axled. And it has the um, a, uh, generator on top, or transformer. So um, what I'm going to do, I kind of saw this on YouTube on, a, on some guy's video. I'm just going to set it over top. So it has you know, all these rivets. And I just have my brown Sharpie here. And you can just carefully kind of just... Put it on top. Make them stand out. There's a lot of them, so it might take that second. All right, so I did all of them on each side. Um, 
and also the um, mounting points or whatever they're called. You kind of want to just don't have to be perfect with it, but get them some Sharpie as well, just like that. Um, do this other side. And sorry, my hand's more than likely blocking this from the camera, but looks much better. Just the, um, the metal parts given kind of like a rusty look. And now we'll, we're gonna weather the wood up. And this isn't a detailed car at all, really, because it doesn't even have um, like classification number, or letters and stuff. So, just gonna lather this thing up. You don't really want to mess with the transformer, just because it would be fairly clean. Um, and so you can just wipe that any excess off of the transformer. And then, just kind of like that. Then you're gonna get the the um the bristleless one. Just kind of go like this. You definitely want to leave some of the white. Or most of it. Because then you get the um, wood. Kind of a beaten look. And I think I'll, I'll do the same thing with the brown. But... There's some still kind of left in the cracks, as you can tell, but it looks really pretty nice. Keep that kind of derailed just so it doesn't roll off again. So yeah, now I'll do brown. Yeah, there you go. Got the wood actually really nice. Um, I didn't use the short bristle one. I just did the longer one, and it looks pretty nice on the brown. Now, um, if you want realism, I'd probably add letters and numbers to it, but right now I don't have lettering decals, so, um, yeah. Now I'm gonna put some, um, thread over it to make it look like, uh, chains. All right, so actually, I just went ahead off camera and did everything, um, like, um, cable-wise, so, um, yeah, just took some thread, did it over again, took two attempts for each one, but, um, yeah, it turned out really nice. So, um, I did say in the beginning that I was going to be doing that grain car too, but it hasn't shown up and I want to get this video on as soon as possible. It was going to be weathering Wednesday. On Wednesday, whatever next Wednesday's date is, um, the 3rd? No. Yeah, 3rd of October. Um, or November, sorry. Um, but this is probably going to be up on Friday. So, um... I hope this helped everybody, and here's some footage of some weathered carts running around the land. By the way, one last thing before we get to the trains running. Um, there might be some just different scenes, like this one, and this one, and some others. Not many, actually, just those two. Um, land update will be coming soon, just saying. So